Hello, I'm Herm Gailey. We're here today to talk about a useful maneuver, good building block for lots of other maneuvers, the turn on the forehand. Very different, in fact, the exact polar opposite of a reigning spin where the front end goes around the back end. Here, the back end goes around the front end. Uh, I'm going to show you how I start it and then refine it. So when I begin this process, let's just say I want to work on a turn on the forehand with the, with the back end moving to the left. I'll start out with a young horse on a circle and I'll just say move your hip to the outside. Just get that horse accelerating the hip when you put your leg back there. So that's a far cry from a turn on the forehand, but you have to begin way upstream to have this work out nicely. I see people like jamming their horse up against the fence to accomplish this, and I will use the fence to contain movement, but initially that movement, you're not trying to arrest the front end as yet, you're just moving the back end out of the way. So this horse has not had this done with him for a while, but he knows how it works. So we're going to just, to keep things simple, work on the left turn. The process is exactly the same, or the mirror image, to the right. So after your horse gets proficient at that, you're going to want to take the movement away and see if you can move his hindquarter independently of his front end. To make it easier, I will trap them a bit and tip his nose to the right, just as I was doing in that yield the hindquarter from a walk. Tip his nose to the right and use my right leg to move his hip to the left. So as you can see, you have him trapped a little bit here. So that way, you can simply hold his face and cause the hip to rotate. That's not perfect, but that's the right idea. So we'll do that again. Nose tip to the right, right leg back around the flank, apply pressure, move the back end around the front end. There's two schools of thought on whether you want to completely stop the front end. There's some real good trainers who say you want a pivot foot with the horse going around. In this case, it would be his right front foot pivoting around that with the front end stationary. I think you tend to get a horse stiffer in the shoulder doing it that way. So I'll allow that front end to float just a bit. So we'll move the back end around. And you can see his, now there he got the overdoing his front end. But the front end is not locked in. So what you do from there is you hold your horse perfectly straight. And this may take you weeks. You know, you're not working on it constantly, but you have little sessions of it. So you're just about perfectly straight. You take your right leg back and you say, move your back end around. And at that point, you no longer have him trapped. You just have him square in the bridle. However, if you want to build toward a better half pass, a better lead change, you can take it one step further and tip your horse's nose and create a slight bend to the left so that he's looking to the left and he's curling a little and he's bending his hip around himself while facing the same direction. That's a considerably higher degree of difficulty. 
But think about what that approximates. That is very close to what you will do when you come across the pen, pick up on your horse, and ask him to change directions and change leads. So that is a useful adaptation to have your horse somewhat shaped to the left and also step in his hip to the left. So. And see, he's, his eye is looking to the left. His neck is bent just a little to the left. Leg is back behind the girth. And I'm just, with this horse who's a little dull, I'm just resting my spur against him and pressing a little bit. Now, if your horse would tend to just wander forward, actually that's less of a problem than the horse who wants to fall back. But what can be useful is to use the fence as a crutch Go up and face your horse toward the fence. So you're going to get a beautiful shot of my backside here. Just what everybody was dreaming of. So I'll face the fence and I'll take my leg back. And if he wants to move forward, the fence arrests him. Then what I'll usually do if I'm working on one side is I'll make a loop. Freeze his feet up. Come back around get in that same position and shift to the left and then walk off. So that arrests that front end mechanically. Sometimes with a certain type of horse that can be useful. The other thing I'll do with the fence is I'll use that to get the horse accustomed to going both ways. So I'll face the fence move the hip to the left, that's like a quarter turn, and say, how about you move your hip back to the right? And he steps around and gets back parallel with the fence the other way. And the bonus for them is, after that you walk off. So they, they get to thinking, if I do that little sequence, I'm going to get to walk off. And they tend to, to, to gravitate toward it. I don't use the fence much, but I do on a certain type of horse. So useful thing to have, imagine you're looking to open a gate. Imagine you're starting to build your side pass. Well, very commonly when you side pass, your horse's shoulder will get way in advance of their hip. But if you have them trained to move their hip over, as in the turn on the forehand, you can shift them back to a more correct position. So that's, that's a useful thing. And believe it or not, it can also be useful in your turnaround because if your horse tends to drift, you can put a little pressure back there and keep his hip from drifting off to the side. Now, I will confess this guy wasn't really doing anything wrong and he's saying, why did you lay that spur against me? But that helps to stabilize the back end. So there are a lot of different ways. It helps your lead change, helps you to open a gate. Very useful thing. Plus, we got a front end, we got a middle, we got a back end. Why would you just work on the front end? Get the whole horse steering, get the whole horse moving where you need him to, you'll be happier. Give it a try. Let me know how it goes. Till next time.